The video released shows footage from the two officers who responded that day, and it begins with those two officers talking to the man who first called 911, the manager of that apartment complex. I'm the manager of Stadium Apartments, and I just got a report from one of my residents that another resident is standing in her patio door pointing a gun at people. The manager warns officers of Ragland's background. She's a veteran that came in through one of these veterans programs. Housing helpful. Yeah, housing authority okay. HUD program. She's, I believe that she's got some uh, chronic uh, PTSD, right. and she also has some traumatic brain injury. She's not stable. That's from 839 to about 841 AM. The officers then approach Ragland's apartment and identify themselves. Hey, Crystal, Hustle Police, can we talk to you real quick? Raglan leaves her apartment through the back sliding glass door. Huntsville police at this point slow down and zoom in on the video on what appears to be a gun near Raglan's waistband. Police tell her to put her hands up, and shortly thereafter, she reaches for what appears to be the handle of that gun. The officers fire at least 10 shots. Hands up! Show us your other hand! Raglan falls to the ground, still breathing. Because this part of the video is so graphic, we won't show it here. Police later approach her, handcuff her, all in accordance with HPD policy. It was later determined that Raglan's weapon was a fake, a replica of a 45 caliber handgun. The next day, Raglan died at the hospital. This was a tragic incident for the victim, for our community, and for the police department. After the shooting, both HPD and the Madison County District Attorney's Office launched reviews of that shooting incident. And in both cases, the two responding officers were cleared of any wrongdoing. The Madison County District Attorney's Office saying that any reasonable officer would have thought that Raglan's gun was real. In Huntsville, Luke Hydash, 331 News.